So it seems like the 1976 movie Rocky is often considered a romance film. And, well, I watched Rocky for the first time maybe a year back, and... Um... Yeah, this is not a romance film. No, it is not. Like, I get that, you know, there's the whole relationship at angle, but... Rocky and Adrian's relationship is... Problematic. So, I am going to say something that I imagine there are going to be people who disagree with, which, whatever. Um, but... Rocky is a sexual assailant. The first time he and Adrian kiss, she has shown no interest in him, and he has just been harassing her almost. She shows no interest, and the only reason they go on a date in the first place is because her verbally abusive brother tricks her into going on a date with Rocky. And when the date ends, um, he gets Adrian into his apartment and kisses her. And he is fully aware that she might not want to be kissed because he says this. I want to kiss you. You want to kiss me back if you don't want. Now, I know there's going to be some that are thinking, hey, a kiss is not sexual assault, but why not? No, seriously, why not? If the kiss is unwarranted and the other party has shown no interest in you romantically, why would this not be sexual assault? W what is this kiss trying to convey? If not, I want you sexually. And I know there's also going to be an argument that if she wasn't consenting, she wouldn't have gone into his apartment. But going into somebody's abode does not mean you give consent. If that was the case, Mr. Roper would never go inside the gang's apartment to fix something. For those who are too young, that was a reference to the 1970s series Three's Company. The joke is that Mr. Roper and eventually Mr. Furley believe that Jack is gay. If that's not convincing enough for somehow, um, Adrian wants nothing to do with Rocky. When she finds out what's going on, that he's going to try to make a move. She tries to escape the apartment, but he physically stops her. She'll go. Don't go, please. Don't, don't go. Don't come. Don't come. Don't go. Do me a favor. What? Take off these vests. That is not romantic. That is sexual assault. And Adrian is really in a tight spot in this movie because she basically has an abusive home life with her brother, Polly. I got a turkey in the oven. You want the bird? Go in the alley and eat the bird. Oh. Get out of the house! Come on, enjoy your freaking life! You hungry, Rock? And the only escape she can get from that is being in a relationship with somebody that sexually assaulted her. And I guess I should get on to my next point, because again, I know there's going to be some people that have a problem with me saying that an unannounced kiss is sexual assault. I'm hearing the hypothetical question, oh what, am I supposed to ask somebody before I kiss them? Why not? Consent is sexy. Because, and um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, that's just awkward, blah, 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 blah. Imagine how awkward an unwanted kiss is. You know, there's that. But also, consent is sexy. Because in you asking, there are several things that are conveyed. It means you care enough about that person and what they want and about their bodily autonomy. And if you get that yes, oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, that is an ecstatic feeling. That's just a little bit of ecstasy. Now, I'm not going to say I hate the Rocky series. I, I couldn't get into it because that one scene really just ruined it f for f just ruined it for me. Because anytime I see him and Adrian on screen together, it's like, no, but the way the relationship started, no. And, you know, Rocky is kind of an awkward doof and he's a likable character. But 
this is just not okay. And I just think that we need to look at the actions of the characters that we look up to and maybe ask ourselves, should we really look up to them? And I don't really know how to work this in, but this film was written by Sylvester Stallone and, well, this. I kind of originally, I wrote a full script for this thing. I was just kind of going to make it a little longer, maybe more detail, but this is kind of one of those things that, no, let's just kind of get through this one. Okay, I don't like saying that, but I don't need to make it too long-winded. So I'm just going to leave that off here, okay? Um, before I leave, though, uh, just a second. Meet Max! He was hiding in the wheel well of my mother's vehicle. And it was like super cold outside and he was crying. She asked the neighbors, posted on Facebook, stuff like that. Haven't heard anything. So I took him in. And he's a cutie. Absolutely rambunctious, but... I love them. So hey, uh, thanks for tuning into this one, everyone. Uh, I'll be back with something hopefully soon. I've got a bunch of things I want to do. Just who can find the time? Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo.